and said, "Aiya, 老师叫你站起来了哟。” So then, okay, then I quickly stood up, and、uh, I was like, "Okay, okay, you know."、Uh, then the teacher asked me, "Okay, what's your name?" I said, "Huh?" Couldn't understand what he was talking about. And the teacher said, "I'm asking you what your name is." Now this time, I could understand what she was talking about, but she was so fierce, right? She was looking so fierce. When I was about to say my name, I forgot my name. <laughs> so I said, "My name." Uh, uh, just couldn't couldn't say it. And then. And then the teacher was so upset, and she just blurted out something that really changed my life. And so she said in Chinese. Now, this is a Chinese teacher, right? Chinese Chinese lady. So she said in Chinese, "Is pointing at me," and he was like, "Ni, ni, ni is from 什么山巴出来的啊？" Why do you speak English? You know. So then, the class burst out in laughter. You know, all these little kids. You know, they were laughing. They were like, "Ah!、Oh, you know, you gotta understand. This school was the absolute worst school in Singapore, and this class was the absolute worst class in the absolute worst school in Singapore." And you cannot get any lower than that. And these guys are like, suddenly they realize, hey, there's somebody more stupid. And they were always the stupid ones. Suddenly, there's an even more stupid guy, two years older from Malaysia. Ha ha ha! So they were so happy, right? So everybody suddenly feel good and proud of themselves. You know what I mean? You know, some guys, the guy. Who was sitting behind me? This Yao Hui guy was even rolling on the floor. You know, like couldn't stop laughing, and、uh, and I just felt like the world was spinning around me. You know, it's like,、uh, you know, it's like you know when you watch movies and you see these bad people hurting good people, and the good and the good guys like feeling the world spinning, and then all the people around him was laughing. You know, and they were laughing. Their 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 faces are distorted, and they're laughing. You know that kind of thing. So I just felt that spinning of the world, and suddenly I felt a really strange sensation on my face, and I reached out to it and I touched it, and it's something very strange. It's wet. You know, if you are really naughty, you never cry. I mean, I couldn't remember myself crying since the age of maybe three. You know, we never cry. We fail, we don't cry. I mean, we we fight, we don't cry. But at that. Particular moment, I felt tears coming down, and I touched it. I'm like, oh, I cry. I'm crying. My God, I'm crying. <laughs> and、uh, and and then <clears throat> the rest of the class was like eternity. It's like Yonghen, you know. And I just cannot wait until the school bell go off, and then I ran all the way back to the apartment. And then I remember getting into the apartment. I slam closed the door. I jumped onto my bed. I covered my head with the pillow, and I started crying and weeping. And and it was three o'clock when it when when I did that. And by the time I decided to stop crying because I couldn't cry anymore, the tears were dry. I I just couldn't cry anymore. I looked up and looked at the clock. It was seven thirty. So I cried for three and a half hours. I've, I've cried. I mean, I've cried out all the tears that were accumulated inside. And when I got up after three and a half hours, I did something that changed my life forever. So I said, I, I, I started, I start, started to talk to the divine power above me. I was not. I was a free thinker back then, so I had no religion. But, but I just said, you know, loud here and loud here, and you know, I said,、uh, you know, I humiliated my country. You see, if they ridicule me, that's fine, because I am a person who's got no dignity. 
，没有自尊的人，没有自尊心的人，你骂我打我没有没有没有没有没有关系。But if you humiliated my country, I was patriotic. 所以我是一个爱国的人。所以当一个外国人，所谓外国人就是新加坡人嘛，是他这么说我的国家，因为新加坡人就长期看不起马来西亚。联邦人，联邦人，你们这些这三八来的 ，you know. So I was very, very hurt, not because of what they said about me, but what they said about my country. And they said that about my country because of my wrongdoing, because of me. I was not making my country proud. I hum, I brought shame to my country, and therefore, I I was swearing. So I said,、uh, okay, I want to. Totally change. I don't want to be the old me anymore because I've wasted 16 years of my life already. So I want to become the best in whatever I do, and I'm going to start from English. If they think I cannot speak English, I'm going to make sure that they regret what they say. And so、um, after that, I opened the drawer. I reached into the drawer. I pulled out a very thick book, and I blew away the cobweb. You know, a lot, many of the cobwebs, ha, that dust is very thick. Because I never touch books, right? And and then once I've once I've wiped away the dust, I could see the title of the book. It's called Oxford. Dictionary, <laughs> New King Da Zi Dian. I'm like, you know, like Zhao Xingqi lah, you know, Mo Lam, ah, what? Go, what? B Cup, ah, ah, what? Ah, Mo Lam B Cup, you know, something like that, you know. So, so something like that. So I thought, okay, so this is going to be my life. I'm going to make sure that I gobble up this thing. Turn to the first page. And started memorizing English words, and I did that for ten hours a day. And after three months,、um, I finished the whole dictionary, actually from page one to page eight hundred and fifty-nine. You know, just managed to finish the whole dictionary. And then I thought to myself, okay, now it is time for me to go down, you know, and.、Uh, And 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 seek revenge. You know, in all the Chinese kung fu movies, is like that, right? So when people are bullied, they go into the mountains, is it right? And look for sifu and all that. And then they will practice their kung fu in in the caves. And after months and years, when they finally get it, you know, 一定是下山报仇的嘛，没有上山报仇的哈，都是下山报仇啊。So I thought that was what I'm gonna do. And then I thought, okay, but before I do that, maybe let me just.、Uh, Flip back to page one and see how many words I still know. And then、uh, when I flip back to page one, I realized, other than apple and a few other words, I've already forgotten most of the other words. But you see, it doesn't matter if what you do is right or wrong, or the method in which you do is right or wrong. It doesn't matter as long as you do something in life. It doesn't matter if you are doing it in the most efficient and productive manner, as long as you do something now. That's what it is, because most people wait until they have the right formula. They wait until there is the right timing. They wait until there is a right, a perfect moment, and those things never come in life. And therefore, what I did. Was that even though it was the worst strategy to memorize a dictionary was is not the best way to learn a language, but because you do something about it, you will gain some rewards. And so, once I became really determined and positive, my life changed. You see, whatever we do, it is just a thought. It is just your decision. I mean. Will there be poverty awaiting you, or wealth? It's a thought. Now, 就是一种意念，一个决定而已
You know, sometimes we overestimate how people became successful. So we look at these really well-to-do people, we, we think there must be a lot of things they, they know I don't know. There must be a lot of things they do I don't do. And you're wrong. Actually, they know just about the same things as you do. They actually do just about the same things as you do, but they do it with so much more intensity. You do two hours, they do 20 hours. You do two years, they do 20 years. I mean, you have a bit of problems and then you quit. They don't quit. I mean, even if it means going hungry, they don't quit. Even if it means going broke, they don't quit. And because of that, people make it. And so coming back to my story, because I became the most determined and the most hardworking student Singapore had ever seen, I'm telling you. I didn't sleep. I didn't need to sleep. I just continued to study. I just wanted to make up for lost time. I've lost 10 years of my education. I wanted to make it back. And so I, I went from being the worst student in Singapore to become one of the good students and then one of the, I would say, probably most outstanding students in Singapore. It went from the worst school to the best school. It was, went from all failed to straight A's. Um, and then I just moved on. And my life is never the same again. And because of that, I developed this passion in helping young people. I developed this passion in helping not just young people, but people in general to help themselves. Because I know there's so much potential that each of us have. If we don't unleash the potential, it is a waste of resources. It is not environmental. I'm telling you. I mean, the Creator has given us an abundance of, of resources from the physical body to, most importantly, the brain that we have and the heart that we have. The brain is about creativity, the brain is about strategy, the brain is to lead you and to allow you to, to do something that is really, really good. The heart ensures that you do it right, that you do something ethical, that you do something that will help people and not hurt people. And so you use your brain and your heart together, it won't go wrong. And that's why once I became serious about the things I do, I started to become successful in everything I do. I, I do. Be it study, be it business, be it social, um, you know, social work and all that. Because it is all about attitude. Woman, so your attitude determines your altitude. Is it correct? Woman, so your attitude determines your altitude. It's all about attitude. It is not about knowledge. Knowledge is important, but it is not the most. The, it's not the first thing. If you're saying you got to choose one thing. You want to become successful, there's only one thing you can choose. You choose either, say for example, knowledge, attitude, background. Say for example, what kind of family you're from. Maybe your parents are rich and all that. Or your attitude. Or your qualification, your knowledge. Do you know a lot? So, say for example, you choose among these three things and you can only choose one. I'm not sure about you, but I'll choose attitude. I'll go for attitude. I will not go for background. I was just having a conversation with Dr. Oak and uh, we were saying, you know, I'm looking at the Tan Sri's in Malaysia. 
just share with you. I've done a survey of all the countries, the Chinese countries. Okay, let's not talk about the Malay countries. Okay? <laughs> let's talk about the Chinese countries. There are 100 plus of them in Malaysia. And I did a survey on the Chinese countries and I found that, in fact, a lot of the countries, they did not go through proper education. They were not. They, were, they didn't do tertiary education. Some dropped out of high school. Some didn't even finish primary school. In fact, many of them. And you wonder why? Well, how come these, these people who did not do what most people did, that is to get the proper education and qualification and all that, and somehow they became, they moved up to the top of the food chain. Let's understand food chain. Suurian. When, when we say they, they did not have proper education, that means they came from poor families. Is it correct? Hey, come on. If you come from good families, of course your parents would ensure that you go through education, blah, 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 blah. blah. If Malaysia can't, they go overseas, right? These guys, they were on their own. And many of them, in fact, were poor as hell when they were young. Nothing to eat. And some were wandering in the streets. And some were fishmongers. My yuda, my tai da, my mian da, so xiao fan da. I mean, many of them. And how come today? They are who they are. There is only one thing they, that they have that the rest of the population doesn't have. And that is that, you know, they have that attitude of never give up. Because if you want to become successful, the road is really, really tough. If you just want to be, if you just want to be mediocre, 如果你只是要平凡, easy. Just go get a job. Yeah, it's easy. Just go get a job. Get any job. Come on, in Malaysia, the unemployment rate is very low. In fact, People who are unemployed because they don't want to look for jobs, that's all. Anybody who wants to look for a job, get a job. And so if you just want a job in Malaysia, anywhere you can get a job. But a job is a job. Then ask yourself, is that job going to sustain what I want to do for my family? Is it going to realize my life vision? What kind of vision do you have for yourself? What kind of lifestyle you want your family, your parents to enjoy? And you ask yourself, if I don't put myself through hell, I'm putting my family members through hell. I'm telling you. It's selfish. So some people, they do an easy way out. Oh, oh, you know, jin kang ko, ayo, very tough, ayo. And then after a while, ayo, suan na pa, ha. Zika, zika, woman, bia jiang ku da, jiang ku gan sem mo, bia jiang ku da. Huh? 
and then you go to the hawker center, you know, 人家问你要吃什么 so I think that is really selfish because when you don't do your best, you're not going to bring enough financial resources to your family. You're not going to be able to do your best for your children. You're not going to be able to do your best for your parents who've, who've spent all their lives you know, taking you to where you are. Therefore, I think it's important for us to develop a really, really strong 